Hello, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guest is Rabia Dow, the Program and Service Director at the IRIS Network. Welcome, Rabia. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. Well, there are exciting things happening at the IRIS Network, and we'll get into that in just a minute, but do you want to give us a little background on the IRIS Network and, and what it is and does and means to the Portland area? Sure. The IRIS Network is actually a statewide uh, provider of services for uh, Mainers who have uh, lost their vision or are experiencing vision difficulties. Um, so we have staff um, all over the state, um, all the way to Fort Kent and down to the New Hampshire border and everywhere in between. We provide um, rehabilitation services, um, we provide uh, resources for folks to uh, help them uh, function as independently as possible on, on their daily life, mm -hmm. be it at home, at work, uh, at school, uh, at play. Um, we've been around for um, over 100 years, since 1905. The headquarters is right here in Portland, um, and the staff uh, as I said, come from throughout the state. Um, and, and what we, I was in, interested in reading was that you have a, a clients that average around a thousand a year, uh, I, I think, um, mm -hmm. on the average around the state. Mm -hmm. And there are only 50 um, staff members that deal with that all the way, you know, from Fort Kent or mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. down to mm -hmm. Kittery. And that's, that's an amazing amount of territory to cover. It is. And that actually, the 50 staff members include the maintenance crew and, yeah. and, and, and the, the, the everybody else who runs the, <laughs> behind the scenes. So it's a small staff. Yeah. And we do work with uh, about 1,000 uh, folks a year, wow. uh, year in and year out. Um, the majority of them, uh, majority of people who are losing their vision in uh, in general, tend to be older. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, Maine is actually one of the grayest states, mm -hmm. if in fact, the grayest state in the country. So, uh, there is a, uh, a, a large uh, proportion of our clients who are senior citizens. Right. But we do work with all ages. I, I think it's amazing. And um, one of the very exciting things that is happening and that we're going to be talking about is the new rehabilitation center mm -hmm. that just sounds like it's state of the art and long time coming and needed to help people get into the workforce and t tell us a little bit about it and how it's going to work. Sure. Um, you know, once somebody loses their vision, uh, it, for the most part, it's progressive vision loss for most people and it creeps up slowly and you start retreating further and further back into your bedroom and giving up activities that you used to enjoy or that you used to perform mm -hmm. from walking down the, the driveway to get your mail to maybe going to the grocery store or reading your bills or going doing your banking, um, going to work, uh, um, going shopping for Christmas presents and over time those things add up. So for the most part, what we've been doing at the IRS Network is having uh, therapists, vision rehab therapists, go to people's homes and work with them at home. But that uh, is slow. Um, you know, there are distances. Blindness uh, is not that common, so you're not going to find too many blind people on the same block. Mm. So you have to drive from one place to another. And so, with a limited staff. And with limited staff, yeah. right. And, and that uh, means that you may see somebody maybe once every two weeks, if you're lucky, for about an hour or so. Mm. But there's a lot to cover. You know, mm -hmm. how can I pour a cup of coffee safely without spilling it on myself? Mm -hmm. Or use the stove without burning myself or the house down, right? right. Uh, or things like identifying one medication from another, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. So or, or when my daughter, when she lost her sight, you know, with a new baby, mm -hmm. you know, dropping a glass and breaking it and not knowing right. where it went. It's a safety concern. A Absolute safety sure. concern. And even, you know, within the house, going from second floor to first floor. Or, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, for example, if there are children leaving toys on the floor mm -hmm. or somebody in the family will sloppy leaves their shoes here and there and, and you may and trip on them. And you Right. So, um, so this that, rehab so, center. So the rehab center is... 
a new way of delivering the service. Yeah. So whereas you would get maybe a couple hours every week or two of services in your home, coming to a rehab center means you're going to be residing on, uh, mm -hmm. on campus. For 12 weeks. For up to 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Up to 12 weeks, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be getting about 35 hours a week. Oh, amazing. So... It's like an intense, you know, college experience. Ex that's you know, it. You're just it's, it's exactly. Yeah. So instead of going through the, the, the school of hard knocks, mm -hmm. you're going to a college or in, and getting your education all at once. Right. And even more beneficial than that is that, you know, the facility we have is three floors, chock full of all kind of technology and resources and, and know-how. We have staff who've been on in, in, in doing this business for over 30 years, yeah. 40 years. And we have some who are just going through training right now. Mm -hmm. So it's a very rich resource. Mm -hmm. And we can't possibly take every device with us to show people in their home because we would need trailer trucks for right. every staff but member. But here you've got it all. Here they're there, exactly. And, and they're ta you're taking people not just from Maine but around. Around, the, around. The, we're we're the going country. to go around the country. Yeah. And the other benefit of that is actually meeting somebody else who is going through the same experience. Yeah, and you know that helps so much, doesn't it? Does. it? Just to know you're not alone right. in Because blindness is isolating, yeah. and you just feel that you're going crazy. You right. like, uh, 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 the world is closing on around right. you. So well, by talking with other people, you actually kind of normalize the, pro the yeah. experience. And you're, you're, you're not unique. You're right. other people just like right. you. And what works for you may work for me, and I may share right. something with you. So it Now, works. we've got to wrap it pretty soon. So I wanted to just, you know, December 3rd is the grand opening. Yes. And you have some really special guests coming. Could you speak a little bit about that? Sure. Guest uh, speaker, anyway. We, ha we have um, the um, commissioner of the Rehab Services Administration mm -hmm. from Washington, D.C., um, Mrs. Janet Labrec, who's going to be coming to um, uh, to be our guest uh, speaker, and Lovely. she uh, and her organization have sponsored this 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 center. Oh. It's a federal, state, private collaborative effort Wonderful. to provide services to the state Wonderful. of Maine and to others outside the state. And it of is Maine. state of the art. And you're going to have some other dignitaries from we the will, state. We will um, have exactly the commission of labor right. and, and other um, yeah, members of the legislators right. will be present. And now is it open to the public? Or? It is. We welcome anybody to come in and uh, whether for this uh, open um, grand opening or to just stop by and see what services we have and right. or just call if they think they, they can benefit from services from uh, seeing an optometrist for low vision right. to learning technology. They're, to, they're amazing because uh, I've had to call for various reasons and they, you know, they right there with the answer. And so it's December 3rd from 10 to noon. Exactly. On, what's the address? 189 Park Avenue. 189 Park Avenue. And yep. for more information, people can go to your website. Exactly. It's theiris.org. All one word. T-H-E-I-R-I-S dot org. And we welcome any inquiries and stop by for visits. Well, I'm looking forward to going by because it just sounds absolutely fantastic. And thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for the opportunity. Letting our audience know a little bit more about this really, really important service. Thank you. Thank you.